I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I guess I might as well unpack. What an honor to be the sister of the Rubber Duck Derby second place finisher. Is that a sword? We didn't even get to finish the song. Must be Ethan's. Wonder how many times Gabe's been forced to play. Wait, what? Is that a real live dead deer? Gabe brushing up on comics and art? Really going the extra mile for Ethan and Charlotte. Holy shit. It looks like Gabe actually read this. Huh. I've really changed the art style since I read these. Whoa. Looks like Ryan turned my brother into a model citizen. At least I held it together in front of him and Steph. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? I'm really happy for you, Gabe. Charlotte made this? Gabe mentioned she was an artist, but I didn't realize he meant, like, professionally. I could never make something so... personal. So Gabe and Riley have been working on her interview, and Mac thought they were sleeping together? This is fucking stupid. Alex. Do I want to know? Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? Anita and Eduardo. They were one of the good ones. Wow. Gabe's been looking for me for a while. No way. Gabe has this photo too? Look at our parents. Mom's healthy. Dad's only kind of an asshole. I know I kicked the drywall crack when I see one. Looks like we've both had people trying to help us. I'm glad it made a difference for Gabe. Okay, how did he get this up here? Gabe looks like he fits right in. Oh man, Gabe used to crush me, jerk.
Oh god. Shushu's gonna look so grungy on this nice bed. She's gotten me through some hard times, but I was hoping we were done with that. We've seen things, haven't we, Shushu? Ethan's really talented. Makes sense that his mom's an artist. I never heard back from Sydney. I hope she's okay. At least she cared. More than I, I really wish those Mets had worked. Chelsea. The rare bright spot from my time in the group home. Crazy how much we've changed. journal. Time to add my latest meltdown. Ugh. I'll finish this later. No fucking way.
Well, Alex, you just went nuts and beat the shit out of somebody in front of your brother. So, how are you feeling right now? You and your damn surprises, Gabe. Being here is too good to be true. I'm not gonna let anything mess it up. I should go downstairs and set things right with Gabe. Gabe always wanted a bike like this. Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. <laughs> so, it hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go... Well, Ryan knows what he's doing. Now you just go with him. <sighs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. So, what's it doing today? Rising, for sure. First day of my new life. Oh, good. I'm glad Mac's stupidity didn't ruin everything. <laughs> I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. 
I know literally nothing about kids, but he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. By the way, thanks for telling us about the mine. Ethan's not allowed up there anymore. Yeah, no problem. I hope you won't be mad at me. You did the right thing. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. <laughs> Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the spring festival and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. Oh, that's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye, thanks for supper. Yep. So I'm short-staffed at the moment. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years experience as a server? Uh... Gabe's full of shit. I've never worked in a restaurant before. Never stops that one. But I would love the work if experience isn't an issue. Want to give it a try? It's not too busy right now, and we keep it informal around here. Okay. Thanks. All right. So, we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar, all right? Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. My dad was in the I should check on that table. Can I get you two anything? Miss Chen, here at last to relieve our suspense. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third, ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired, and this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming? Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms, and my usual to drink. Jed will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. My dad was in the service. Hey, Jed. Yeah? I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Uh-huh, and? One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Oh, that's odd. I don't see it. Oh, now wait. 
I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me, but feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Ducky? Jed thinks you took your whiskey up to Gabe's yesterday. Do you know where you might have left it? I remember absolutely nothing of the night. <laughs> really? Maybe check your phone. Did you take any pictures? Call anyone? <clears throat> have a look. For goodness sake. How do I access the photos on this thing? Nice. Poor Ducky. I shouldn't be reading this. Sorry, nothing useful. Well, thanks for letting me know. My dad was in the service. Wow. Tetanus anyone? I hope Brian's got better supplies. Typhon's not a bad... That looks radioactive. Sweet jukebox. I'll have to check out the song sometime. What a class act. Gabe, just do what your boss says. Only 45 bucks for the chance to get mauled by a bear. I got... A written up for leaving my phone on. My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. I my locker when I was on... Oh, is that really Ryan? Duty. All right, let's see if I can find Ducky's whiskey up here. Ducky's whiskey could be one of those. This all looks really fancy, but no rye whiskey. Broadcasting straight from your local record store. Because how fucking cool is that? Ooh, now I know where the ramen is. No whiskey, though. Maybe Ducky left his whiskey up there. Nope. Nothing. Guess I kind of gave Gabe the runaround, huh? There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. 
Still want to hit the trails later this week? Shit. Now Mac's scared. At least he's not freaking out anymore. He won't make me lose control. Nineteen lives? Jed is a real hero. Haven seems pretty serious about this festival. Coupons for weed? What a time to be alive. How mysterious. Wow, I messed Mac up pretty good. Holy shit. Can I talk to you real quick? What do you want? Listen, what happened upstairs was fucked up, right? From both of us. Where are you going with this? Look, Riley's headed over here. She's pretty heated at it. I don't think it helps to recap all the gory details, you know? <laughs> so you're saying you want me to lie to cover your ass? No. No, just, like, let me handle it. Look, she's gonna break up with me otherwise. We've been together four years. She is the best thing that's ever happened to me. So please, help me out. I don't know, man. Shit. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god, look at your face. No, it's okay. Don't even. What were you thinking? Where's Gabe? Why do you give a shit? Because my boyfriend just got into a fight with him. I swear. This is it. You better have a good explanation or... We're done. It's, it's not my fault. I just wanted to talk to the guy. About what? About you! About why you guys are meeting behind my back. Okay. So how did the fight happen? The bastard sucker punched me. Okay. Um, not exactly sucker punched, but... He definitely started it. Oh, God. Were you there, too? Yeah, I was there. Max telling you a whole lot of bullshit. You know what? That doesn't even surprise me anymore. So what really happened? Riley. Mac barged in, accused Gabe of sleeping with you, sucker punched him, and then kicked him while he was down. Riley, listen. What happened to Mac's face? I did that. Well, good. It sounds like he deserved it. Thanks for telling me the truth, Alex. Wait. Wait, are you... are we okay? Are you fucking serious? I'm so embarrassed by you right now. But are we... Still together. What do you think, you fucking idiot? No. Alex Chen? Uh... Assaulting Mac Loudon on your first day here, huh? I'm Jason Pike, the deputy sheriff. I'm gonna have to take you in for questioning.
Are you saying I'm under arrest? <laughs> your face. <laughs> you should see your face. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, I'm only kidding. Nobody's in trouble here. I, <laughs> Gabe and I just like to prank each other. <laughs> I've never been pranked by a cop before. <laughs> you definitely got me. <laughs> Thanks for being a good sport. Can I buy you a drink? Um, maybe. I'm working right now. Well, I'll be at the bar. You want one, you just come by, okay? <sighs> that looks interesting. Yeesh. Glad I'm not a 19th century miner. Maybe you'll see a circus one day. Once I'm better with guess these were for mining. Damn. I wonder if the bullet's still in there. Rest in peace, mister. Unusually personable staff. Nicely done, big bro. Is there anything this woman can't do? This one's from yesterday. Hold up. It was Colonel Ducky on Gabe's couch with the bottle. She did that to that guy's face? Steering clear. Aw, I'm already making friends. Venison and leek pie. I need to try that. Jet acts so humble. Maybe that's part... Starting over from scratch like this? Fucking terrifying is what it is. You're telling me. That's the girl from the record store. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks though. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now, though, if you want to chat. Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? I've heard the term before. Live action role play. It's like a tabletop role playing game, but acted out in real life. Costumes, foam weapons, beanbag spells. It's great. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. So are you um, here with somebody or? That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. They went to get first aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Luke and family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? I saw some stuff on the walls. People here still talk about it. The tourism board wanted to I make a movie. I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. Sorry, Jed. He's so modest, it's ridiculous. It 
Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. What's a jukebox game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song, guess wrong, you have to take the shot. (laughs) Ryan and I are going to play. You want to take his place? Dude, you're on. (laughs) Yes. So, I'll pick a song. You have five yes or no questions before you have to guess it. Okay. Got one. Jukebox is all yours. So, what do you want to ask me? Hmm. I should flip through these and see what might be good to ask. Is there an animal on the cover art? Uh, no. No animals. Ugh, too bad. Some of these are really cute. I know, right? Are there people on the cover? No. Yeah, no. Is the band name on the cover? Yep. You've got two questions left. Does the band name have a symbol in it? Like something that's not just a letter? Oh. Yeah, it totally does. Nice. Last question. Yeah, all right, I know. Is the band name only one word? It is more than one word. Hmm. That's your five. Ready to guess? Yeah. Let me look through one last time. Here's what I know. The band name does have a symbol in it. It's not a one-word band name. No animals on the cover. No people on the cover. The band name is on the cover. Think that's enough to figure it out? We'll see. Is it that one? No, it's not. Sorry. All right. Let her drink me. It's not as bad as it looks. (laughs) How was it? It's actually delicious. (laughs) You should try one. (laughs) Hey, thanks for playing. I'm really glad we did. Me too. I should get back to work. Okay. I've done what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. Wait, Deputy Pike. Hey, Alex. Were you hanging out with Ducky and Gabe last night? Who told? (laughs) (laughs) So, Ducky apparently lost his favorite whiskey. Possibly upstairs? Oh, no. You remember seeing him with it? When I left, 
he was still down here. Oh, but you know what? You should check Gabe's wall of shame. Might have some incriminating evidence. Actually, I did see Ducky up there. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Well, worth looking again could be some clues. I'm ready to take you up on that drink. All right. Hey, hey, Jed, can we get, uh... Thanks. And keep it quick. She's on the clock. (laughs) (sighs) You know, your brother's been talking about you getting here for months. I'm starting to get the sense. I even remember exactly the day he found your number. He was telling everybody in this place. Really? Yeah. Pretty heartwarming stuff. Well, I've got to get back to work. Later, Alex. This one's from yesterday. Hold up. It was Colonel Ducky on Gabe's couch with the bottle. Found this upstairs in Gabe's couch. What a relief! Many thanks, Alex. Well, it's my first day working here, so put in a good word for me, okay? <laughs> She's a go getter. Can I pour you a glass? Uh, no, no. Allow me. To Miss Alex Chen, a most tenacious detective. To Alex. Cheers. I've done what Jed asked me to do. I should see if he needs anything else. My dad was in the circle. Are you finished up with everything you want to do? Yeah, I took care of everything you mentioned. Is there anything else you'd like me to do? Nah, the boys should be back soon. Speak of the devil. How you feeling? Not great. Not awful. I got Alex covering for you. For real? We need to talk. I'll be on the rooftop, okay? Okay. I think that's enough for today. You did great work. You'll be a damn fine addition to our team. Not to mention, you can sure hold your liquor. <laughs> you can't keep an injured man. You can't keep an injured man waiting. You better go upstairs. Thanks. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Time to talk to Gabe.
for you giving me the silent treatment. I'd understand if you were. Look, Gabe, I'm really sorry. I... Do you have a cooler under there? I like to hide beers around the house. Because, well, you never know. You never know what? You just never know. So, need a manager for your underground cage fighting career? Gabe, okay, I'm really sorry. How many bones have you broken? Like, on other people? Dude, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Don't apologize. I'm fine. Now that we're talking about it, I guess I never realized. That I can kick your ass? Yeah, I guess. You know, I never realized what your life must have been like. On your own. It was fine. You know, when I pulled you off the Mac and you hit me, I, I was angry. But then I thought about how you took him apart. Like you've done it before. Didn't you go to juvie? Isn't that like prison? Yeah. That was the hardest time of my life. Some days that. I didn't think I'd make it out. But I get the feeling you've been through worse. I can tell there's something going on with you. Something troubling you. Maybe it's time you open up. I want to talk to Gabe, but what can I even say right now to explain what happened with Mac? There's something... off about me. I know what other people are feeling. I can see these auras around them. And if they feel strongly enough, if they're angry or sad or afraid, I feel it too. And then I lose control. And this has happened for a long time. Like Mac. I felt all that anger like it was my own. I think it was pretty clear that Mac was angry. It's more than that. He wasn't just angry at you. He's angry at himself. 
He thinks he's gonna lose Riley. Did Riley tell you that? No, totally. During our sleepover. Right after braiding each other's hair. Okay. Okay. You sure it's not just... You know? It's not just in my head, Gabe. I promise. It's not from meds or stress, or trauma, or whatever. It's real. Can you tell what I'm feeling right now? It doesn't work like that. It's only when you feel really strong emotions. Oh. I don't expect you to believe me. No one does. So you can actually feel what other people are feeling? Yes. You're like going inside their heart. I guess I am. Dude, you have superpowers. Getting beat up and having no friends. That's a super curse, dude. Okay, okay, maybe superpowers is a bit strong. It's just... I have no idea what's going on with people half the time. Charlotte's teaching me how to improve my emotional intelligence, but this, this is on another level. You can get in there. That's... That's really special. Special. That's really your take on all this? Totally. I mean, it's whatever you make it, right? But it doesn't matter what's going on. I'm here for you. Don't forget that. So, when were you going to tell me about the guitar? Oh, shit. You found it. It was supposed to be a huge surprise. Surprise? <laughs> well, what do you think? I love it. Thank you so much. Of course. Welcome home. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? Hey, is Ethan up here? No, he was heading home. He was, but I haven't seen him in a while. You don't think... Maybe? Fuck, maybe he did. What is it? I think he went up to the mountains. If he actually did, we need to move. Now. Let's go. 